What is up, you guys? It is your boy John here from Puma Plow. How's everybody doing? Welcome back to another On the Farm video. Today, guys, we are taking a look at another new product. We seem to be doing this a lot this winter, but hey, you know what? New stuff's cool. This is a Dynaglow tank top propane heater. Uh, it's really cool. It is an infrared style heater, and you're not necessarily heating the air as much with an infrared heater as you're heating objects. So if you're sitting in a chair, let's say, just kind of chilling, watching some Judge Judy, you know what I'm saying? Not that we do that, I swear. But you feel the heat. It's it's a different kind of heat. Yes, you're still heating the air, but it, it's just, it's kind of cool, the, the, uh, the infrared heat. And this one being 360, this is really cool. Um, I can provide a link down in the description, although I will tell you that we did not pay as much as the website says for this thing. Uh, Dad got it through somewhere and got it cheaper. I'm not sure where he got it from. I'm sure he'll tell me after he watches this video, but he didn't tell me before watching the video. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, the place he works got one of these or got two of these and uh, he thought it was really cool and so he picked it up and uh, yeah, so it goes from 30,000 BTU, 35,000 or 40,000 BTU. Um, so it's not like the biggest heater in the world and it's not the smallest heater in the world. So it's not bad. Uh, when we walk in the shop, we will still be running, uh, you know, the little 50,000 torpedo heater because that's like insta heat. The thing with the infrared is it kind of takes a minute. <laughs> it's good to like maintain the warmth of the shop. So... Um, yeah, and somebody asked a while ago, that's why there's plastic between this and the other areas here. This is because we heat this area of the shed, um, because this is the area that we call the shop. And you gotta have a heated shop, right? Come on. Otherwise, it's cold. Uh, some very minor assembly is required. You put a bracket on with two screws. No big deal. That kind of goldy bracket at the bottom there. No big deal to put that on. Put that right on your uh, tank and uh, hook the hose up. It's literally that simple. <laughs> uh, the only thing that is kind of a bit of a downfall for this heater, honestly, is that you have to have a match or a lighter of some kind. It would have been cool if it had a push button, you know, like a clicker to uh, light it. Um, but that's really the only issue that I have with the heater. Other than that, this heater is awesome. It is very cool. I think it is important to note that we are not getting paid um, or we did not receive the heater for free. Uh, Dad definitely bought this heater, so I think that is important to note that, guys. Um, just uh, for clarity's sake, I guess. I don't know. But uh, literally, it's that simple. Pull it out of the box, put the little bracket on, hook it up to your tank, and away you go. Now, because this thing does burn up to 40,000 BTU, 20-pound uh, tank's really not going to last that long. I think we were figuring around six to have an hour, something like that. Um, we didn't really run it on, on uh, the 40 very much. We did a little bit, but not too much. Uh, not too much. And if you wanted like boil water, you could probably put it on top of the thing. Because <laughs> that thing, it really does put some heat out. 40,000 BTU is pretty warm. Obviously, there are bigger heaters out there in the world, but for uh, infrared, and it's really cool that it's 360. Because the normal tank mount infrared heaters are very directional. And there's a there's a reason to have those. You know, there's a, an application where those would be handy. And we have a small tank mount uh, infrared heater we don't really use because it's kind of small. But um, this one is in the shop. We will be using it uh, the rest of the winter, most likely. Um, so like I said, it's a really good maintainer. It maintains the heat once once we get the shop warm. Uh, this is kind of a perfect heater to to maintain it. So here we go with the first lighting, and I know it's hard to see, but it uh, should be lit here in a second. <laughs> I believe, anyway. <laughs> so, and when it says you need to hold the thermal, the button in there for like up to a minute, yeah, hold the button for up to a minute. It just, it takes a minute. So I'm always impatient on heaters and let it go like way too early, and then I have to relight them. So... All right, it is lit right there, but uh, okay. So now we put it on the ground, you can see it's warmed up a little bit. And then especially with the lights off, you can really see just how warm it is. This is on high right here at the 40,000 BTU mark. Um, 
we did not run it on high very long just enough to uh, kind of get it nice and hot <laughs> and uh, test it out so yes it is a great heater I recommend it um, it's pretty cool pretty cool definitely different uh, it does have a tip over switch as well so if you would happen to tip it you'd be good to go so another project uh, we're looking at doing here soon guys this big light died uh, it's one of those sodium vapor whatever you know whatever they're called I don't know the big bulb it's the whole thing so this is in the back of the shed and it died it's it's been going out for a little while and now it just won't turn on um, we don't have any extra whole units so we are going to be replacing maybe we'll see with this LED shop light we already have three of these inside of the main shop here and we went and picked up another one um, but the thing we wanted to kind of see was if it was going to be enough light so I'm actually heading up into the loft right now to kind of hold the light and uh, see if it is enough so um, yeah <laughs> a our, this side of the loft is really kind of messy and B it's dark up there <laughs> so you guys can see I'm up above where I was at just a minute ago dad's still down there plug the light in and I'm gonna hold it out there next to that dead light so we, we were kicking around the idea kicking around the idea and I came up with the idea of moving one of the other lights from the quote front of the shed because there's two of these lights that are working just fine on the front of the shed move one of them back here and then put the LED lights in the front of the shed because we're in the front of the shed a lot more uh, we're not back here nearly as much and I think that is what we are going to do so uh, to be honest you guys will have to tune in next week because we haven't done it yet <laughs> you guys will have to tune in next week to see the outcome see how many of these LED lights we put up see how we put them up and uh, all that good stuff so thank you guys so much for watching another on the farm video I really do appreciate it and we will catch you in the next one <laughs> put the ladder away so you don't trip on it just saying thanks for watching uh, hit, make sure you hit that like button for more. Subscribe if you have not already done so. And toodles.